Uh, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. Since we're nearing the holidays, we're coming up on Thanksgiving and of course of Christmas and New Year's, uh, it seems appropriate that we should talk about planning the custody arrangements for the holidays. How does one go about doing that? Well, obviously, the first place you're always going to look to is what do we have written between the parties signed off by the court that supports the proposed arrangement. Usually your judgment of divorce or your order of parenting time will set forth the parameters of holiday time. Who gets this year? When is the pickup? When is the drop off? How long does it last? All these things are typically going to be spelled out. If you are at the stage of your proceedings where a, a final order has not yet been entered by the court or you have, don't have anything written down, what are you supposed to do? Well, that's going to depend a lot on your relationship. If the relationship is a cooperative one, it would seem to me that the parties should try to work out exactly between themselves what the arrangement's going to be, put it in writing. It would be great if you could enter it with the court, but at least if you can't, you have it in writing. And remember one thing, a lot of times people, due to the insecurity of the situation, want to vie for the first New Year's, the first Christmas, the first you know Thanksgiving. They want the kids to be with them on this one. You may think this one is pivotal, and maybe in the immediate context of the overall divorce, it might well be. But in the big picture, it's not going to be more pivotal than the next year, or the one after that, or the one after that. So if you're getting Christmas Eve this year, you can well expect that next year the other side's going to get Christmas Eve. So always remember that if you're negotiating this and you reach an impasse, and it's a question of, okay, if I can give in on this, if we can make a deal on this, it might smooth the path for better negotiation down the line for other things. It might be something worth uh, using as a negotiating tool. I want you to be very careful of one thing, though, and this comes up a lot, so it's important to hear this tip, hear it well. The fact that you exhibit kindness in these negotiations won't necessarily be regarded as kindness by the other side. You may think it's kindness, they may think it's weakness. If that's what you're dealing with, you may have to draw the line in the sand on certain things and perhaps yield, but make sure that they understand that you mean business, that you're not just going to be giving up everything just because it's easier to avoid the conflict, and you're there to assert your rights as well, and it becomes very important to do that. I think Every time you go into a negotiation about a custody arrangement for a holiday, you should always have in the back of your head a plan B. If you're in a situation where you can't work it out, then do you have an option? Can you suggest something else that might work for you? If you can't get Christmas Eve, can you get Christmas Day? If you're getting a Christmas Day this year, you should get Christmas Eve next year. In other words, there's always going to be some negotiation. And there's always going to be a switching back and forth, assuming that the parties live in the same area. So knowing that fact, always keep in mind that there is a small picture and a large picture. And while a victory may feel good in the small picture, it may not service the larger picture. And the larger picture is you're going to have to get along with this person for another 10, 15 years while those kids are minors. And you need to set a foundation so that there's a respectful, appropriate, fair relationship going forward. If you have any questions about that, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.